All right, here's a quick video. Uh, these are dip switches. Everybody knows what a dip switch is. Ones and zeros. They're marked open and uh, closed, I guess, is the when you push them at the top. And you kind of need a little uh, something that's kind of pokey to, uh, to get in there and push the button. But that's uh, on and, and that's off. Off will be open. And uh, this was the, uh, uh, the HPIB address of the uh, IEEE 488 address of that receiver that I had. And I thought I'd be able to use it on other projects, so I left some wire on it and everything. And I went to use it on a project, and it didn't work. And I couldn't figure out why. And then I remembered I've seen this before, and I measured the continuity, and there's no continuity. All of these switches, none of these switches work. When they're closed, they're, they do not short the, the pins. They, they, they do not come make closure. Um, and I thought, okay, well, I pulled another one out, and it did the same thing. Now, I've seen this before. I've seen these go bad before. And um, I, I thought it was just kind of a fluke, but now I've got at least three or four that I've seen go bad on these things. So um, I'm wondering why. So uh, oddly enough, I've never opened one of these up. I just to kind of assumed there was like a little leaf spring and the little, the little thing when you push down is just a cam and that pushes on the leaf spring and it mashes the two together, kind of like a relay closure, right? It's just a mechanical thing. Um, so I took, I took one of the dead ones, um, yeah, let's focus on that, and um, I surgically removed half of it, and there are these two contacts, and they're separated, and then there's this little ball, and the little ball can rotate, and if the ball goes into the middle, then it shorts the two out, and that, that's what makes the closure, and in the... Uh, and the little rocking mechanism, uh, let's see if I can make it go here. There, there is a, let's see if we can take this one out without losing things. All the other ones landed up on the floor. So, okay, sorry, I got interrupted. Um, so I've taken the little cam out here and underneath you can see there is a little spring. There's a hole and there's a spring and that ball rides in that hole and spring and then it takes this ball and it moves it back and forth and they don't work they're gold plated you would think uh you would think gold, gold plating would last forever so i think the gold is just fine it looks gold um, but i think they're coated in some type of oil some type of conductive oil um, to make it operate smoothly or something. And I think over time that fluid goes non-conductive. And so everything is coated in a layer of insulator. And so, yeah, they don't work. Um, it, 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 it's amazing. <laughs> so this is the real deal. I think these are gray hill. Uh, do they say gray hill on them? No, oh, that one doesn't. No, well, maybe they're not the real deal. I don't know. I thought they always said gray hill on the sides of them. Um, anyway, I found that very, very interesting. Anyway, this is unusable, this is unusable, so these get thrown away. That's too bad. Um, and so uh, when I went to find a replacement, I went to my junk bin, I pulled out one, it works just fine. So some seem to age fine, because I don't think I have any new ones in my junk bin. I only have old things. Um, and it was just fine, so I used it. Um, but these, you can see that little ball there. Kind of fits right on that spring, uh, and you can see that it's, it's kind of greasy because it's sticking to my uh, sticking to my tweezers. Um, so yeah, uh, very very strange. Oh well, not everything lasts forever. So I guess when you have an old piece of equipment, uh, replace the electrolytic capacitors and replace the dip switches.